to Inquiring Minds. My name is Doug and I'm back with today's, or should I say yesterday's, fountain pen review. This pen BBS pen of the year to celebrate the Chinese New Year 2023, the year of the rabbit. So we're going back to the future to review a new pen that celebrates a new year that has already passed into the future. But it is new, but it's from the past. It's your pen. Something has got to be done about your, your pen. Kids. I've received several viewer comments asking what is going on with Pen BBS. The amusing thing about those questions is that they think that I know something about it. Let me make this perfectly clear. I see nothing. I know nothing. If you think that I have some inside knowledge of what the hell is going on with Pen BBS, then I'll have to ask you to get out. You ask me to what? Get out. I do not have any insider information as I'm just an outsider like all of you. But that won't stop me from speculating. So join me as I take a look at this new old, old new Pen BBS Year of the Rabbit, which surprised me in more than one way. And I'll speculate on Pen BBS. What the f is going on with them right now? So finally, something new from Pen BBS, and uh, maybe you call it new old because Pen BBS uh, has finally released their 2023 Year of the Rabbit uh, fountain pen. I just received it now. I think by the Chinese calendar, today is uh, February 5th. So maybe this is just under the wire, but let's open it up anyway and see. I'm pretty sure I only ordered one pen, but I have gift with pen. Is that a gift with the pen? And here is the 2023 Year of the Rabbit. Uh, it's a 548. Let's see what this gifty might be. It says it's a 309 in cedar, transparent cedar. Well, I wonder if I'm just special or whether Biney's giving away stock of old 309s that no one wants to buy. They've come out with a new piston filler. This is the old one. Aha, uh -huh, look at this. This is that cedar. I've got two pens in cedar, one 480 and one 308. It's uh, still cold. That's why it's uh, condensing like that. This is a Pen BBS 309 with a fine nib. I'll have to ask Biney whether she's giving these away with all of these Year of the Rabbit pens or whether I'm just really special. Isn't that special? Well, isn't that special? <laughs> well, thank you, Biney. Let's take a look at the Year of the Rabbit. It's in a big case. And all the previous ones have been. And there we have the really nice box with embossed gold pen bbs and i believe it yeah pulls up from the top and here we have the 2023 banner and the instructions on the 548 i believe it's a piston filler this one is number 789 we'll have to see how many pieces they actually made and again this is cold so it's going to condense and get misty. There it is. I got the blue. A really interesting finish. I was wondering what this might look like in the hand. And there it's starting to condense. It's got a little plastic jewel on the non clip. This is certainly in the same kind of design vein as the previous numbers of years, starting with 2021, I think. Let's open this up. So the threads are at the top of the section. That's all condensation. And there's our nib. It is a fine. And this is a Pen BBS piston filler. And the section does not come off. Let's see how that feels in the hand. Well, it's actually weighty. That feels substantial in the hand, but very comfortable. That little swoop up there fits your finger and thumb. Well, mine anyway, very nicely. The model is the 548, Pen BBS 548. So, and I'll find an appropriate ink for this. I've got some ideas already. And we will put it through its paces and see whether we can 
get the review done. We won't get it done before 2023 is over, that's for sure. I'll show the parts and features of this pen, show some size comparisons and measurements, and then provide a writing sample. And then I'll talk about what I like and what I don't like so much about this fountain pen. But first, let me put my speculation cap on. Now it's time for you to put your thinking cap on. What the hell is going on with Pen BBS in 2023-24? I know a lot of Pen BBS fans that want to know what's going on with our favorite fountain pen company. So here's the inside scoop on what's going on. Lean in closely. I have no freaking clue. There. As for what I think is going on, settle back, grab a beverage, and I'll speculate. Those of you who don't know or care about Pen BBS, talk amongst yourselves or skip ahead. Talk amongst yourselves. I may be 100% wrong about this, and if I am, the secretary will disavow any knowledge of my speculations. The secretary will disavow any knowledge of your actions. This tape will self-destruct in five seconds. Unlike other Chinese pen companies like Hongdian, Jinhao, or Wingsung, PenBBS is just a handful of people. My guess is that PenBBS consists of three to five people. Jialong Su is the head of the company and the chief pen designer. I'm speculating that he has two or four people with him as a design team. They plan out models, designs, drawings, and send those designs to third-party pen manufacturing companies to produce pens from their specifications. They could have a small team that assembles pens when they get all their various parts together for the production of a batch of pens. But the design team is just a handful of people. Then there's distribution, and that is Baini Zhang, who, along with her young daughter and various cats named Amber, Tutsi, and Niango, put all the orders together and ship them around the world from sales on the official Etsy shop, as well as other Chinese-based shops like Taobao. During the pandemic, Shanghai, like many Chinese cities, was under some very restrictive government lockdown regulations for months and months on end. Other companies with deeper pockets and larger human resources were able to absorb the downtime easier than Pen BBS. If Baini was locked down for a month, nothing went out. If Ji Long Su couldn't get his quota of parts or couldn't access his assembly workforce due to lockdowns, nothing was built. So Pen BBS, as a very small independent operation in Shanghai, was hurt much more deeply by the pandemic than other Chinese pen manufacturers. Still, during 2023, Jialong Su and his team were able to put out two new models of pens, the 495 Piston Filler and the 485 Touchdown Filler, and still get the Year of the Rabbit out the door before the Chinese New Year of 2024, which was yesterday. So I say kudos to Jialong Su and his gang of pen lovers for keeping it going under very difficult circumstances. Pen BBS started in 1997 as a group of pen lovers who communicated with each other on the very early internet using what we used to call a bulletin board service, or BBS, hence Pen BBS. They share the love of fountain pens and discussed new pen designs as well as fountain pen inks. They started by making ink and then branched into designing their own models of fountain pens. So when you complain about the availability of Pen BBS pens, finishes, and models, remember this is a very small operation. You could call Pen BBS a boutique pen maker. Perspective is everything. So, on with the review. I've been collecting Pen BBS annual year of the fill in the blank pens since 2020. The first one was the 2020 year of the rat. This one is shaped more like a traditional fountain pen. Uh, but it had a very interesting magnetic filling system where you use the magnet in the cap to move the piston up and down the inside of the barrel to fill the pen. The 2021 Pen BBS pen was the year of the ox. This was a bulk filler. And 2022 brought the year of the tiger. And this one is the new piston filler. And you'll see this piston in all of the piston fillers, including the new 2023 
Year of the Rabbit. From 2021 on, Penn BBS decided to indulge themselves in designs that are thoroughly Chinese in style. I remember hearing people complain that Chinese pen makers were guilty of copying Western classic pen designs. And why didn't the Chinese make their own unique Chinese designs instead of copying the West? Then Penn BBS came out with this in 2021, and the complaints were, wow, what an odd-looking fountain pen. What were they thinking? Why can't they be more normal-looking? And yes, opinions. Everyone has one. Every time I read or hear something like that, I think to myself, well, you go ahead and design, manufacture, produce, and distribute your unique fountain pen then. I'll wait. Yeah, I thought so. I wasn't fond of the previous Pen BBS pens of the Chinese year. The 2020 year of the rat was okay, but the filling system was gimmicky. The 2021 and 2022 were interesting bits of Chinese cultural design, but I disliked them as fountain pens. This one, however, has the outward shape of that Chinese cultural design trend Long has been going for, but without the cap, it's a very nice pen in the hand. Let me show you where I think this model might go. We saw the 2020 model become a regular production model in the 497 magnetic piston filler. I think this design has the potential to be a new regular production model for Pen BBS. Uh, bear with me here. Bear with, bear with. Hang on, bear with, bear with, <laughs> bear with. <laughs> Back. Next to one of my favorite Pen BBS pens, the 323. Here is my 323 in Galaxy. I've said that this is one of the best fountain pen shapes ever made. It's the perfect desk pen. The moment I held the 548, I thought of the Pen BBS 323 and I got both of mine out. Here is my 323 in Amber is a Cat. Of course, the 548 is a metal body, but the 323 was made in aluminum as well. I think we might be seeing a merging of two models, the 323 and the 548, into an acrylic slash metal piston filling 323 style fountain pen. It wouldn't take much, just imagine this section a little shorter with the cap threads in the normal position and this cap coming down to about here. A 323 piston filler. I love it. I want it. Take my money. But I get ahead of myself with excitement. But let's look at what we have. Overall, the pen is a long, unusual, unique shape with a pagoda style top, a funky little clip with a plastic jewel, matte gold finished bands, black shiny acrylic like the previous Pen BBS pens of the Chinese year, and an ultra cool micro laser etched ice blue and gray fleck pattern metal clad barrel. With the heft of the body of this pen, I'm going to guess that this is aluminum over brass. But let's look at it in detail. From the top, we see the pagoda-shaped matte gold-colored top finial, which says Shanghai 789-999, 2023, and a couple of Chinese characters. This is a limited edition to 999 pieces. That pagoda sits on top of the matte gold faux clip, I call it a faux clip because even though it does move a little bit, it doesn't function as a clip at all. The faux clip is shaped like a tall feather with three slashes and a small plastic ball at the end. The black acrylic cap swoops up and then is a concave curve down again to the matte gold cap band that has a center groove and top and bottom curves. There are no markings on this cap band, not a bunny in sight so far. The top of the barrel is the bottom of the section, which is also black acrylic and curves up to another flared edge. And then back down again to the barrel. The barrel is unique. I've never seen metal etched, lasered, or whatever process they're using to make this pattern. I love it. It catches the light, is smooth to the touch, and beautifully modeled. If I get a close up here, as close as I can get, you might be able to see those micro lines on there. Probably not enough resolution to see them, but there's a lot of horizontal lines etched along there. So I think that pattern 
is laser etched on that barrel. The barrel bulges out at the top and then tapers down to a matte gold ring, which separates the barrel from the black acrylic piston knob, which has a fourth concave curve ending in another ridge and a flat bottom. If you count the two concave curves of the cap band, that's six concave curves and one convex curve and one pen. That's a lot of curves. But this is the year of the rabbit after all. I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way. I'm not overly fond of the long curvy look of this pen with all of its gold bits. It is in the tradition of the last couple of pen BBS pens of the year, of course. I wasn't fond of that aesthetic either, but it isn't my culture, so it, it isn't really a Western sensibility. It is certainly unique, and I applaud the celebration of the Chinese culture inherent in this design. But, and this is a big but, and a big but that I like. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You are the president. <laughs> Rachel, please, that is so inappropriate. When you remove the cap with one, two full turns, you have a beautiful, long, piston-filling fountain pen that fills my hand like a larger 323, has a beautiful, long, comfortable section, and plays directly to my Western fountain pen design-loving sensibilities. I knew the moment I took the cap off and this pen filled my hand with some heft that this was a pen I could write with. Then I fell in love with the nib, but I'm getting ahead of myself again. I'm just so excited to love this pen. The section does not come off. The cap threads are at the top of the section, so they are never in the way. This swoop at the back of the section is perfect for my grip. The cap threads are an issue, however, when capping and uncapping the pen. They're uncharacteristically sloppy for pen BBS, and they can cross thread very, very easily. Let's take a closer look at this nib. It is a gold colored pen BBS number no. six size fine mini fude nib. The pen was offered with options of some of pen BBS's steel calligraphy nibs as well. I have several of those and I thought I could simply swap one in if I needed to, but this nib is staying as you'll see soon. The nib is engraved with the first and only indication of rabbits. We have a circular design of a menage a trois of bunnies chasing each other around in a circle. You can see that design better on the 2023 banner that's included with the pen and the pen instructions. There's that bunny logo there. Maybe someone from the Chinese culture can explain this three bunny logo to me. Rabbits frolicking on a sea of gold, I guess. The nib and the feed are part of a nib assembly that can be unscrewed for maintenance or swapping. The inside of the cap shows a black plastic cap liner that helps seal the nib from evaporation. The cap does not post at all. Unposted, the pen is exceptionally nice in the hand. I bought this limited edition Pen BBS 548 on the Pen BBS official Etsy store for $81.99 US. It was available in, I think, two colors. The shop is down right now for the holidays, so I can't check to see what other colors were available, but I think there was sort of a reddish color available. There might have been a third color available, I'm not sure. And there were various calligraphy nib options. As I said, the pen shop is closed now while everyone is celebrating the Chinese New Year. I thought that they still had stock before the holiday, but check back every day and see. I've been able to confirm that I'm not very special when it comes to getting an extra pen with my order. Biney has gifted an extra pen in various models and finishes with your purchase of a 548. I got the 309 in cedar and clear. Others have received 308s and other 309s. Now let's look at some size comparisons. And here's the Pen BBS 2023 Year of the Rabbit Piston Filler with a Pen BBS 323 in Galaxy, a Pen BBS 2020 Year of the Rat Magnetic Filler, a 2021 Year of the Ox Bulk Filler, and a 2022 Year of the Tiger Piston Filler. Now let's look at them posted. Well. No, let's not look at them posted, because they, none of them post. But let's look at them unposted. And of course, I misspoke, because one of them does post. It actually screws to post. But I find it makes that pen much too long, and uh, even uglier than it is. The rest of them don't post in any usable manner. Hopefully, you can see what I mean by the similarity between the 323 and the 548. 
I'm hoping that there will be some synthesis here. And I'll just keep harping on it until there is. Now let's look at some measurements and I'll be back with a writing sample. And we're back with the writing portion of the review. This is Clairefontaine 90 GSM paper, and this is the Pen BBS 548 Year of the Rabbit, and it has a number six size steel fine nib, which I call a mini. Day. If you've never heard me use that term before, it's what I call the Pen BBS Fine Nib. It has a slight upturn at the tip that gives it a very small Fude nib like effect and makes it one of my favorite nibs of all of them. Schaefer Classic nibs have that small upturn tip like that as well, and, and sometimes they're called Waverly nibs. And let's check the wetness. This is a gusher and very unusual for pen bbs the fine nibs are usually designed by pen bbs to be fairly dry right out of the box for the eastern market but this very heavily chinese design influenced pen has a nib that's very very wet out of the box even by western standards i didn't have to open it up at all and i can honestly say after at least a dozen or more pen bbs fine mini fude nibs most of which i love this is the finest fine mini food a pen BBS nib I've ever experienced. I'll put it up against every single one of my favorite pen BBS pens. I haven't written with any of the pen BBS year of the Chinese animal pens since the initial reviews, but this one is going to be in my permanent rotation. I'm off on a tangent again. Where was I? Oh yeah. The nib is smooth and just glorious. There's almost no feedback. It feels like a pilot, smooth, medium nib. And the ink today is Iroshizuku Ama Iro. Really nice light teal kind of ink. And for some line variation, there isn't much to be had. It's fairly stiff, not much bounce to that nib. And the line this nib makes is a surprising 0.6 millimeters in both directions, which makes it a western fine to medium or a Japanese medium to broad on my Richard Bender line width chart, which you can find linked in the description below. And for our quote. And for some reverse writing, it's a lot toothier and a lot thinner and drier, but it's not scratchy at all. So sketchers might like that nib. And for some quick writing, I'm just thrilled with how wet and juicy that nib is. So what do I like and what do I not like about this fountain pen? Well, I'm really pleased to tell you that I love this fountain pen. Like with the Hongdian N24 Year of the Dragon yesterday, my expectations were shattered by this pen. I thought, as usual, I wouldn't like the Pen BBS Year of the... Better not risk another frontal assault. That rabbit's dynamite. I thought that this would be the fourth year in a row where I would have to say that I appreciate the design effort that went into the pen, the celebration of the Chinese New Year with some Chinese design, but that it really doesn't float my particular fountain pen boat. And I'm not really fond of the overall look of this pen with the Chinese hat on it and the silly little clippy thing. But when it is uncapped and in my hand, with that nib on the page, this pen is just magic for me. I got so carried away with talking about the overall design of this pen that I forgot to mention it is a piston filler, just like last year's pen of the year and the new model Pen BBS 495. In addition, I'm happy to report 
that the piston can be disassembled easily with the Asvine multi-purpose wrench that comes with Asvine piston fillers. If you have one of these, one of these side openings here fits the PenBBS piston perfectly. And the new piston is eons ahead of the PenBBS 309's piston. I love the weight of this pen. I love that finish on the barrel. But most of all, I'm totally in love with this wet, thick, glassy nib on the page that writes more like a medium than a fine. I don't know what you're doing to these fine nibs now long, but keep it up. And here's hoping 2024 will bring more innovative new models from PenBBS, including a Year of the Dragon, perhaps before the Year of the Snake. And there you have it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And you can join as a member of my channel for only 99 cents a month, and I guarantee I'll answer your comments in the comment section, and you get cool emojis, badges, sneak peek unboxing videos, and instant access to my videos the moment I post them. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you. watching and that's all she wrote I made this